Good morning Antalya, good morning Antilanders, good morning everyone who is watching my channel, I'm Bas. Remember you can subscribe, you can leave some comments and you can leave some likes if you find this video helpful. Today is absolutely spectacular morning. We have probably the best day in several weeks. It's not as hot as it used to be and in the morning around 6 when I woke up it was actually fresh. It was the first time in a few weeks where I actually felt that the morning was cool. Today I want to discuss with you one topic about real estate and that is some initiatives which were recently introduced in a discussion between government and other uh, interested parties, parties interested in real estate. When districts in uh, Turkey in different cities were closed it was mostly in response to local people saying that rent is going up through the sky and we cannot rent it. <clears throat> there were also some other voices which were saying well, how come we cannot buy real estate for cheap anymore and uh, the first ones were probably the first voice was probably the wider heard but the second was also very important because it was election time and there was a response a response to that but now I think the, the dust has settled and people see some other things first of all it's not to the advantage of government to ruin real estate market and really ruin real estate values simultaneous the government collects taxes and taxes are used for other purposes again for the residents of this country so what right now I've heard is that most likely the closed districts will be open to Tapu residency that means if you buy property in that particular place you will be able to apply for residency and have approval I think it's a really wise thing to do because Statistically, and there were some researches done in that area, Turkish people really don't buy a lot of real estate close to the sea. They actually buy inland and they don't mind. The real estate is a lot cheaper there, affordable, and it's closer to the job. It is the foreigners, mostly foreigners with the money, who buy properties close to the sea. And those are the people who actually donate a lot of money to the economy. And in particular, the argument which I've heard is people who buy properties they come here in the winter and off season and that helps economy to sustain it helps the economy to go further so bottom line if you planning for real estate market to go further down i think you should stop planning right now because it's likely it's not gonna go if this initiative will go through and maybe not fully but in some parts also I think it's probably going to to be approved then the whole real estate market will stabilize people who need to have affordable rent they already can do that because from what I've heard in KPS further out there you can rent apartment for 200 250 300 dollars per month quite easily and they are actually wide available foreigners which came with the wave uh, last year and uh, they were all over the places those are gone what you have right now is people coming for vacations mostly families sometimes singles but in Antalya it's mostly families vacation and there are other people who come to the hotels but also it's important for the economy to have those people for the local businesses smaller businesses people who come to the hotel they really don't contribute much to the local merchants it's maybe some shops which are close to those uh, hotels and resorts maybe some of them pick up some of that business for instance uh, renting the three-wheel moped that's where you probably will get the highest price there was a viewer who asked me if he can rent moped the one which I bought and I told him yes you can there are two types of rental for those particular mopeds one is hourly and it's usually usually in tourist districts like really touristy districts where you have a lot of food traffic where people come for a few hours and they just want to 
uh, drive around, check things out and go. That's where you actually rent it by hour. It's probably about $5 an hour, sometimes $10 an hour. Depends how you negotiate and what time of the day and uh, how, what kind of mood the rental clerk is in, something like that. Then there are some other ones which you can find in Liman where you can rent those three-wheeler also and they're very convenient because they are road worthy they actually uh, permitted to drive right on the road and uh, they have signals and turn signals etc and usually drivers are careful with those vehicles even more careful than with regular mopeds because usually it's uh, uh, people who are not very experienced and they don't really make any risky moves so people drivers uh, really pay some respect to that. Uh, the problem which you have uh, with those vehicles that none of them rented with the roof and that kind of a um, in a way it defeats the purpose. If you are just for an hour to check things out then it's okay but if you're actually renting this vehicle for you to go around daily then you need a roof. The sun is really strong during the day, particular, but even in the morning right now, the sun is pretty strong. It's not as strong as the last two weeks. And uh, you can rent those three wheelers for a price of about $15, $10, sometimes $20 a day. It is still substantially cheaper than the car, and if you don't need to drive long distance, it may be a good solution for you. So these are the news which I wanted to share with you. If you are in the market for the flats, for the apartments, I think right now is a good time to buy again. If this initiative goes through, the prices not only will sustain, they probably will go a little bit further up. People from Turkey, all over Turkey, they are buying their residences here in Antalya and on the coast. And particular people who buy it, they usually buy it close to the sea, close to the water. If you are a foreigner, most likely that's where you will be looking for. But there are some people and people who want to retire or people who are semi-retired who are relatively young. They're not uh, in their 70s, 80s or 90s where they need to have actually care. They are relatively young. They have some sustainable income from their savings, from their investments. Maybe their retirement. There are some people in their 40s who are already retired. So if you are like that and you're planning to stay in Turkey for a long time, my suggestion is come here, uh, rent. Uh, there are some apart hotels where you essentially rent the apartment, but you rent it on daily basis or monthly basis or weekly basis. So rent one out, <clears throat> check things out, become familiarized with the area which you want to be. Some people want to be close to the church, some people want to be close to the mosque, some people want to be close to the beach, and there are many other requirements pe pe people have whatever yours is you know just come and check it out and after that you can probably find the apartment which you can buy because still the residency by rent is pretty tight uh, it's given I know some people who get it but it is pretty tight your best bet is to come here on a visa basically having some time for free which is usually about 90 days uh, for some people it's more for some people it's less uh, check things out. Maybe you can extend that after that and then if you're ready just buy flat I'm Vas. Welcome to my channel again. I hope you're having a good day just as good as we have here. All the best. Good luck